Welcome to our stamp tutorial where we'll guide you through the process of crafting your very own personalized digital stamps using our innovative tool, Stamp Jam. Our stamp generator is thoughtfully organized into five distinct sections. One, add elements, adding shapes, text, templates, and images. Two, canvas. Here is where you will be able to see your custom stamps taking shape. Three, edit elements, manipulating the elements added to the canvas. Four, layers, lets you choose the element on the canvas to edit, hide, or delete. Five, toolbar, lets you choose the color of your stamp and other functions we will talk more about in the upcoming sections. Now that we have a high-level understanding of the major sections, let's get into the finer details and follow a step-by-step -step process to create a stamp with Stamp Jam. For the purpose of this stamp tutorial, we'll choose a circle shape, envisioning the creation of a round company stamp. Step 1. Add and edit shapes. To add a shape, simply click on Shapes, followed by the shape of your choice. Once chosen, shape will be drawn in the center of the canvas and the corresponding edit box will be generated on the right side of the screen. Furthermore, its entry into the layer section will also occur. After adding a circle, let's go ahead and edit it as per our requirement. We have provided three editing techniques for shapes. Size controls the size of your shape. By dragging the slider, you can increase or decrease its size. Stroke controls the thickness of the shape drag right to increase and left to decrease its thickness. Line break. This editing technique cuts the solid outline of the shape into smaller pieces. By dragging the slider, you can control the length of each piece. Drag right to reduce the length of each piece or drag left to bring it back to a solid outline. Pro tip. By using a combination of multiple circles, each with a different size, stroke width and line break, you can achieve numerous variations of your custom logo stamp. Get creative. Remember, making a stamp is fun. The three editing techniques above apply to all 15 shapes. The line shape has three additional editing techniques associated with it. Horizontal position. Dragging the horizontal position slider right moves the line to the right of the canvas. Dragging it left moves it to the left. Vertical position. Just like horizontal positional control, you can also control the vertical position. Drag the slider left to move the line up. Dragging it right will move the line down. Rotation, drag the slider to rotate the line around its axis. We have provided a complete 360 degree rotation. Moving the slider right will rotate the line clockwise. Moving it left makes it rotate counterclockwise. Step two, add and edit text. Since we have envisioned a round stamp, we will add a circular text in this step to complement the circle you added in the first step. Click on text followed by the circular text button. The chosen text will be painted on the canvas. After adding a circular text, you will see its corresponding edit box generated on the right side of the screen. Furthermore, its entry into the layer section will also occur. The edit box has a plethora of editing techniques. Text, enter your desired text into this field. Font, choose a font from the list. We have 50 fonts to choose from. Style, we have included five text styling techniques. Bold, makes your text bold. Italic, makes your text italic. Uppercase, converts your text into capital letters. Invert, by default, the text will be painted clockwise. To change your text from clockwise to counterclockwise, click Invert. Whiten, whitens your text. Font size, drag the slider to increase or decrease the font size. We have limited the minimum font size to 24 as we want the text to be visible once the stamp design has been inserted into a document. Anything smaller, and the text in your custom stamp would be difficult to read. Letter spacing. This text editing technique increases or decreases the space between each character in your text. The default spacing has been set to 100, which is the maximum spacing. To decrease the spacing between each letter, drag the slider left. Radius. Drag the slider right to increase the radius of the text. Drag it left to decrease it. Rotation. By dragging the rotation slider, we can choose the starting point for our text. The default position has been set to zero with a maximum of 100. This allows us to position the text in the desired starting point. Drag the slider right to rotate the text clockwise. Drag it left to rotate the text counterclockwise in your stamp design. Step three, add and edit images. Now that we have added shapes and text elements, you can choose to add images from our image library or upload your own brand image.
To add an image, click on Images and then choose an image from our extensive image library. Once chosen, the image will be drawn in the center of the canvas and the corresponding edit box will be generated on the right side of the screen. Furthermore, its entry into the layer section will also occur. We have provided four editing techniques for images. Size. By dragging the slider left or right, you can decrease or increase the size of the image. Horizontal position. Drag the slider to position the image horizontally, left or right, on the canvas. Vertical position. Drag the slider to position the image vertically, up or down, on the canvas. Rotation. Drag the slider to rotate the image around its axis. 360 degree rotation has been provided. To upload an image, click on Images, Upload Image, and choose an image from your computer and click OK. The uploaded image will be painted in the center of the canvas. Note, you can only upload PNG images into your stamp design. Templates. We have professionally designed hundreds of pre-made stamp designs for your convenience. You can always choose to start the design process with pre-made templates. Step 1. Choose a shape. Even if you want to use pre-made templates, our tool is designed to always start with a shape. Step 2. Choose a template. Click on Templates from the left side of the screen, and then choose a template of your choice. The desired template will be painted to the canvas, saving you time and effort. Now you can edit the template's text, shapes, and or images, the same way you would if you were designing a stamp from scratch. Pro tip. Filter the templates based on shape by clicking on any of the shapes from the top of the template section. Toolbar. The toolbar positioned directly on top of the canvas allows you to choose and fill the color of your stamp. In order to change the color of the stamp, click on the fill icon from the toolbar section on top of the canvas. Drag the small circle inside the color palette towards your desired color. Deleting an element. Click any element from the layer section. After the element has been selected from the layer section, click delete from the toolbar. This deletes the element permanently, so be careful while choosing an element to delete. Bringing an element back is not possible. 3. Resetting the canvas. If you are not satisfied with your stamp design and want to start over, click on Reset from the toolbar section. Click Yes, clear the canvas. This will permanently delete the entire stamp so that you can start the stamp design process again. Layers. Now that we have added a shape, text and image, edited them according to our requirements, it's time to understand how to highlight, edit on the go, hide or delete an element from your custom stamp using the Layers section. The layer section allows the user to choose an element from the layers list. In order to highlight an element, while hovering your mouse over the layers list, the corresponding element will be highlighted on the canvas. Edit an element. By clicking on a particular layer, the corresponding edit box for the selected element will appear above. Now we can edit the chosen element from its corresponding edit box. Hide an element. Each item in the layers list has its own eye icon. By clicking on the eye, that particular element will be hidden in the canvas and the open eye will now appear closed. To unhide the element in the canvas, click on the closed eye and the layer will reappear on the canvas. This feature allows the user to view their stamp without certain elements simply by hiding them before they decide to delete or keep the element. Layer count. This feature counts the number of elements, shapes, text, images in your design and updates dynamically as you add or delete an element. This counter can be found in the layer section next to the word layer. Download your stamp. Once you are satisfied with your stamp design, it is time to download it. Click on download in the top right of the page. Choose a plan. Enter your email address, name and card details. Click pay. Wait a few seconds while our system processes your request. If your payment was successful, you will see a download button on the next page to download your stamp instantly. Click Download. Check your email as we send another copy of your design to the email address provided by you. If you still need assistance using our tool, please reach out to us at support at stampjam.com. Until next time, happy stamping!